Dreams, the modern psychologist tells us, are the expression of unconscious drives, the fulfillment of wishes which we repress in our waking life. And yet, if we accept this theory in its entirety, how shall we interpret the vision that appeared in a dream to Colonel George Chorney? For the Russian army on the Eastern Front, victories were scarce during the last days of the year 1916. But one contingent, under the command of Colonel Chorney, seized an Austrian town late in October. And after several hours of uneasy vigilance, the colonel retired promptly to his room and went to bed. As he slept, he saw himself in a dream, standing on the cobblestone street just outside the inn. A few yards away, at the next corner, stood a misty figure clad in white, and it beckoned to him. Follow me through the street where they carry you. The vision led him along the narrow, winding street. And then, at a corner where the village church stood, it turned to the left into a crooked little lane. Tomorrow morning, when the enemy returns, when the town is destroyed, when you are captured, then will you be born hither, and here will you lie. The figure pointed, and the colonel saw that the building before him was a hospital. In an instant, he was inside, walking behind the figure down a long corridor. Outside a room, they paused. Mark it well. Three, one, seven. Here will you lie. It was two o'clock in the morning when the colonel awoke. Unable to sleep again, he arose and stepped out on the balcony that jutted off his room. He had not noticed it before, but the street below was cobblestone. Indeed, it was the same street that he had seen in his dream. Acting on a sudden and irresistible impulse, the colonel dressed and went downstairs and out of the inn. He followed the street, but now, of course, there was no figure in white leading the way. Soon he came to a corner where a church stood, and he turned to his left. Before him stretched a crooked little lane. And at the end of it, he saw a building that was unmistakably a hospital. A night clerk, sitting behind a desk, arose and saluted him. I uh, imagine you have plenty of patients these days, huh? Oh, yes, sir, of course. Only one vacant room left. And the third floor, sir. The third floor? Could you tell me the number of the room? The number? Uh, why, yes, certainly. It's number 317. Back at the inn, he said about awakening the officers. Wake up! Atonico, wake up! Up your stairs immediately! He knocked sharply on the door of each room, shouting the name of the officer within until he received a reply. And gradually, they began to appear, sleepy-eyed and bewildered. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! The enemy is planning to counterattack early in the morning. the next morning, the Germans had returned and were pounding their former stronghold with shells. An hour later, they attacked in overwhelming force. But by this time, the Russians were several miles away. Yes, though they were not aware of it, they had been saved by a dream which was only partially realized because it had been heated in time. A dream... Incredible, but true.